in normal mode in open loop control, if the load varies by a huge amount or if there's tray or a material buildup on the tray, the deflection may drop with the same output voltage to the feeder. This is a demonstration of, of the feed rate dropping slightly and the voltage is relatively constant. What we'll demonstrate now is the closed loop portion uh, or closed loop mode of this control. What this incorporates is an accelerometer that is mounted to the tray. There's four connections wired to the green terminal at the bottom of the board. And that is wired to terminals 13 through 16. And now we will go through the closed loop setup portion. Initially, what we'll do is switch the closed loop, open loop switch to the left. That turns the closed loop on. We will adjust the P potentiometer all the way to the seven o'clock setting. The I potentiometer gets set to the 12 o'clock position. And that is our basic starting point. What we'll do is energize the control. And we will go through the tuning procedure once again through the minimum and the maximum trim pot. Once again, we want to turn the minimum trim pot all the way down to 20 to 25 percent of the line. When doing all these adjustments, there is some delay in the response. So you may have to give it 10 to 20 seconds to react. We will now turn the speed pot all the way fully clockwise. And again, adjust the maximum trim pot to full output voltage. And this may be a few volts less than the actual line voltage. What we want to do is just turn the trim pot clockwise until the voltage no longer rises. You may have to turn the pot counterclockwise and then clockwise to find full output voltage. And again, turn your main speed potentiometer fully counterclockwise to readjust the minimum setting if necessary. And again, the maximum setting. And again, give the control and feeder some time to adjust. Now that we have the minimum and maximum set up, what we'll do is turn the speed potentiometer to 50% or mid setting of the speed control. And now we'll adjust the closed loop portion of the control. We will be working with the I and P potentiometer. We will slowly turn the P potentiometer clockwise until the feeder or the output of the control becomes unstable. An indication of that will be the feeder pulsing. And again, make small adjustments because it does take some time for the control to respond. At that point, when the feet are just starting to pulse, adjust the eye potentiometer counterclockwise until the unit stabilizes. 
and there is no more pulsing present. Now if we adjust the pot, it should be relatively stable throughout the range. And if we turn the speed pot halfway, 50% or mid-range, we can see our feed rate. And now if the tray is loaded, we will see this will stay constant and our voltage will increase to compensate to allow the, the feed rate to remain constant. You can see our voltage went up and our feed rate does not change. So with a varying load, our voltage output is compensating for the change in load. And this change can be affected by uh, difference in loads of the tray, material buildup onto the tray, And not only will it compensate for a lower feed rate, but also if there's buildup on the tray and the tray would over, over deflect, this will also control it from over deflecting. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. It is one of a four part series about the Unicon high current control. Please check out our other Eries videos on our YouTube channel or contact us at the telephone number shown on the screen.